Yeah. So basically, uh, Rick Ross previewed a new song called "Pin to the Cross." On, yeah, on that I like it though. Yeah, and he said he called Terry Crews a coon in the track. Yeah. And then someone asked Terry on Twitter how they felt, and he said famous. But Terry Crews yeah. is kind of a coon. You know what? Here's 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 my thing on it. All right. A lot of a lot of black people, a lot of people kind of like to you know throw that word out real quick. But sometimes, like I heard this analogy from Star, and he no. said, "No, no, 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 no." Oh. Uh, the personality Star, and he oh. said, he asked this question: Is are they really a coon, or did they just get educated and now enlightened on life, and and people are just are not on that same plane and mindset that they are on? Well, and, and, you know. Royce the Five Nine, when he called, he once called Terry Crews a coon a while ago, and he said that mm. him, Candace Owens, and Charles Barkley are coons because mm. he's like, they basically got accepted by happy white people, so now mm. they just like act a certain way, and that's yeah. why he calls them coons. I mean, what's the word? I forget. I forget the the word that they use for happy go lucky black people, but um, but. From what I understand, coon is like a, I think they just throw coon out nowadays, but I think the original or the, the founding terminology for it, because it's not a, it's not an actual uh, caricature of black people. That shit is just, mm-hmm. that coon is actually new. Yeah. But from when it started to like manifest a lot more, it was more so placed on the people who perpetuated negative black stereotypes like rappers, uh, rappers, you know, perpetuating drug dealing and, and, and sleeping with multiple women, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, women doing, you know, sketel things, you know, just black people perpetuating negativity and negative imagery and reinforcing that type of ne- negative ideology with inside the idea of leather. Those were called the coons. Mm-hmm. But somehow, you know, People start people talking about slinging drugs to the neighborhood and, and, and giving and doing the whole shoot 'em up, bang bang, nigga die slow type of music. It's still not even it's like, hey, 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 bro, he just grew up like that. This is music. But from a guy from Terry Cruz's standpoint, who is not necessarily is not saying anything to put down black people. He's just saying, hey, let's not do white. Let's let's not let's let's not do black supremacy, you know. And then him trying to rearrange the word coon and conquering our own yeah, conquer own negativity yeah. yeah negativity i mean i get what terry cruz is saying it's just that i think he's not the person to say it and i don't think people are really to hear him and i think That's he's it. just ignorant like he's ignorant in the sense of like some of the things he's saying like calling the black lives matter movement as a way to push black supremacy like i think he's pretty ignorant in that sense too because it's like it's not trying to push black supremacy it's trying to push equal rights as everybody yeah. else on the planet right so i just think mm-hmm. in that sense it's kind of where he lost a lot of respect and then with the whole america's got talent thing like still working for them considering uh gabrielle union had her own issues on the set yeah. with like um how people were treating her because she was black yeah. and stuff and he never spoke up on it or anything so mm-hmm. like yeah just a lot of stuff i don't know i'm not a, I mean, I'm not a fan he's kind of yeah i mean that's as most people let's let's keep it real as most people would do even street guys do this. They say that, that that's tough. That's their problem. That's that yeah. has no shit to do. That has nothing to do with me. I got yeah. a family to feed every day. So you know what's going on with Gabrielle? Shit, that's tough. Ain't, ain't my problem. What, whatever happened to the narrative of mind your own business? What, what, I thought I that mean, was a but, big I, thing. but I think in that case where it's like you're the only two black people there, mm-hmm. shouldn't you have each other's back in that sense? Man, I. I, I've been in a situation where black people never have my back, and I understand that. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, like the whole what whatever happened to the narrative? Like, mind your business, man. Huh? Whatever happened? No, man. I we always to, like we used to talk about that. We used to talk people on people on Facebook but and, I think when you and, and see social media injustice happening, or you see it right there. Yeah. Like you should say something about it. Like I've been in plenty of positions where mm-hmm. I always not minded my business and stepped in today even as example like you know like i've always been in that position where it's like if i see it i'm saying something kind of yeah. thing like i won't stay silent and i just think i don't know i just don't i don't know yeah i mean cameron said famously almost 15 years ago if a, a if a rapist or a murderer lived right next to me i'm a move i'm my business man 
<laughs> I'm not gonna call the police. He said that, and we praised him for it. I don't know. We we like the ignorance. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 um, I mean, I, Terry Crews, uh, whatever you. I think, like I said, I'm gonna reiterate and say that. I think people are. I think Terry Crews is not the person to the the to speak on. If what he's saying is truth, he should. He's not the person that people want to either hear from him, or nor he should be. Or nor should he be the one spearheading that type of movement because people are not really trying to listen to him. Anyways, goodbye, Terry. 